What up, gang? Carolina Jackpot time. Checking in. It is Wednesday morning. It also means it is August the 30th. Got a big game tomorrow night at 8 o'clock in Salt Lake City, Utah. We have the number 14, I believe they are, ranked Utah Utes taking on the Florida Gators. Of course, this is a return matchup from last year's opening game at Florida won 29-26 in the Swamp. How are you stacking this game? How are you looking at it? Um, here's my breakdown of what I see. Uh, so Utah is a four-point favorite right now, giving up the four points in Rice-Eccles Stadium. Uh, Florida comes in, really a ton of question marks. Uh, Graham Mertz at quarterback, the transfer from Wisconsin. Uh, I think that they are going to struggle a little bit on offense against this Utah defense, which ranked around the top 20 in the country last year. Now, Florida was able to get what I considered an upset win. It, it really, the line was very short on that game. And it was kind of surprising that it was such a short line. I thought Utah would handle them, uh, but they didn't. Are we going to see a repeat of that this year? I really don't think so. Florida was able to do that last year with quarterback Anthony Richardson. Had one of his better games of the season. Of course, we know Richardson wasn't much of a passing quarterback, but he could run around a little bit and beat you with his athleticism. He ran for 110 yards last year and three touchdowns. He's nowhere in sight anymore. But you do return Montrell Johnson and Trevor Etienne, who are above average running backs. That could present some problems for Utah, but I don't think that Graham Mertz, who is a pocket passer, is going to be able to challenge the Utes on the outside. And I think that's going to end up being the difference in the ball game. Plus, uh, there's the coaching advantage here. I think that Kyle Whittingham is infinitely a better coach than Sun Belt Billy. Cam Rising, the quarterback for Utah, probably not going to play in this game. Uh, you know, it's been like up in the air whether he's going to uh, make the start or not. He tore his ACL in the Rose Bowl last year. And that line has dropped from around nine, nine and a half points down to four points uh, with the impending news that Rising is probably not going to start and probably not going to play in this game. I really don't think it matters because the guy tore his ACL in the Rose Bowl. Rose Bowl. Remember, that was last season, at the end of last season. So knowing that and knowing his diagnosis and what the recovery time and rehabilitation time from that may be and could possibly be, I'm pretty sure that a really good coach like Kyle Whittingham has got a backup quarterback cultivated and prepared for this game. Looks like the third stringer may go in this game for Utah. I don't think it matters. I think Utah covers that number. I think they get a big win at home. That's a that's a tough environment to play into. This is a big physical team. It's we like to say uh, it's an SEC type team in the uh, in the Pac-12. God rest its soul, or or a Big Ten type team, and they really are. Uh, they're physical. They'll beat you up at the line of scrimmage. And I like Utah tomorrow night to. Get that revenge win uh, over the Florida Gators. I like them to cover that four points in uh, Salt Lake City. So let me know how you think this game is going to turn out down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys later. Appreciate it. Peace. I'm out of here. And uh, go Gamecocks. Ah, ah.